How's it going, dudes? And welcome back to Tales of Arise. And it is very quiet. It is echoey, too. I guess we could take a look around within reason. The meaning will maintain control over this. You just Focus on not breaking your concentration while ceremonies in progress. You want to see your home again? You'll have to do a good job here. Number 1273. Okay. That, that's a child. Lab worker's child. Is this the test subject, ma'am? Wow, it looks just like us. On the outside, maybe. Inside, it's as uncivilized as the rest of them. You haven't forgotten my warning er from earlier, I hope. No, ma'am. No touching the test subject, right? Well. To be honest, I was beginning to sweat bullets if you hadn't worked out. Who knows what we would have done? This is the first time we've made to assembly sovereign and maiden ready for the ceremony, after all. But seeing you make it all the way to today has my fears to rest, but my, puts my fears to rest. Doesn't look like there's anybody else in this hallway. Daddy isn't coming home lately, so I decided to visit him. But they won't let me go any further. Not fair. I hope he finishes his work soon so I can see him. Neglectful fathers. Okay. I don't know who got in their heads to start calling you sovereign. At the end of the day, you're nothing more than a test subject. You're only worth lies. And your physical aptitude for the task at hand, your thoughts and feelings are no concern. Well, apparently they don't see, see us as human. That's probably gonna go poorly for him. Oh, it's you. So it's only three, or should I say sovereign? You don't understand how much time and effort we've invested to create you as our lone success. We can't risk losing you to injury at this stage. As usual, nobody wants to explain anything to me. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room. And... Beyond's already here. It's time, Alfin. Finally happening, huh? Yes, we need to change into our outfits. And mean for the transference device. Once this is all over, you'll finally be able to return home. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm sorry you got dragged into the, into all of this. Not your fault. Let's just do 
what we have to do and get this thing over with. Right. That is definitely a Shion. I just wanted to go back. To Dana. To my home. Alfin. Niori. Oh, okay, maybe that isn't Shion. That didn't sound good. She put the mask on them. Wait, please. Wait, I... <sighs> well, we're alive. I... What was that? <sighs> it looks like we got our finger cut off. That... How long ago was that? Oh, does that mean we can't use the blazing sword anymore? Since we can feel pain That's now. Right. Shion! As a, Where is everyone? Yeah, very good questions. And it disappears because she um, not near us anymore. Why is your sword not the right I color? Need to find them. Better start looking. <sighs> he must be in tremendous pain right now. Oh, we still got the core. <sighs> huh? All right, enough with the moaning. Uh, just go under here, I guess. Niori. Shion. Hi. Damn it. Of course. Wait, what happened to the sound? My headphones just cut out for no reason. Here I come! It's over! This one's all mine! You picked the wrong fight! Try harder! My turn! I'm not done! Slack! Dragon swarm! Flaming thrust! My 
I can still technically do it. <laughs> Wait, what would his mystic art be? Okay, this is a little bit more difficult. You're finished. Dragon Swarm. We did it. Be still. Nope. I need to heal. This should do it. Here I come. Take it. No escape. Swallow Blade. It's on. You picked the wrong fight. This is gonna take a while. You're mine! It's over! Dragon Swarm! Dazzle! Luna Rongo! Rising Falcon! Take this! Dragon Swarm! Dazzle! Luna Rongo! Rising Falcon! Okay, come on. You're mine! It's over! Dragon Swarm! Flaming Thrust! Luna Rondo! Rising Falcon! I'm nearly done for! Here I come! It's over! Dragon Swarm! Where are the again? This should do it! Here I come! It's over! Dragon Swarm! Be still! You're finished! Dragon Swarm! Dazzle! There we go. That's actually really hard with our healing spell. Alvin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened just now? Normally, you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you all right? E yeah. Sort of. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from. Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Linwell, where are we? Ganis Haros, Bolron's realm. Remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Mm-hmm. Luck? If Bolron's here, that means Xion's close too, right? I Xion? suppose. Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little off. He's probably in tremendous pain right now. He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. <sighs> well, then he's probably got all his memories back. Probably should check the others you too. One of your pals, Hoodle? Uh, let's head to Astro. We can't get up out here. But I have. I just don't stop, do they? Oh, there it is. 
Speaking of Thistleim, it's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty refreshing, huh? The whole town was built by Danon defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area is teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. <sighs> Say, Elfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. He remembered what happened to okay. him. For now, I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. Right. How do I? Right, I think that. Bye bye, Mr. Owl. You're saying we should check the owl forest? Okay. Alfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, mm -hmm. and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. And that would be... I, I got my memory back. Oh, yeah. Well, that was an awkward silence. That's still awkward silence. I'm gonna say something. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the crown contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword and the strange powers you possess... They were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? Yeah. They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I never found out. It 
So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? Xion just looks like someone he knows. I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maid and they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, <coughs> so this Naori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Yeah. Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is, it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenigus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean... You staged a rebellion? No. Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there. Weeping. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. But he did. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the crown contest to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? How old what is Alfin? Alfin? <laughs> That's right. I'm pretty much an antique of a human being. Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin, some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter, only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. <laughs> So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Alfin, stop! I Honestly, doubt that. I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. I mean, we don't really know what happened during the time he Listen, passed out. What you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us.
What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. Mm-hmm. This is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? That's probably a good idea. Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. That was yet a bit to take in. But we don't exactly know what happened when he passed out during that ceremony. He may not have taken do anybody's do life. Do I even have the right to fight? Do I have the right to go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think? Um, I guess we'll just have to talk to him and find out. Oh, go on him. You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Every new piece of information seems only to yield further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their Sovereign in the first place? <sighs> and then there is the Maiden. A figure so powerful, she's playing yin to the Sovereign's yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. Then again, this all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen, I may be a traitor among my people, but I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales. And yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Speaking of which, there's something else that I remember from the spirit channeling ceremony. It used the Renis Alma. You're certain? Yes. At least that's what they called it. Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. Was I really out that long? Well... I'm only estimating based on historical record, but all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be frank, we have even bigger fish to fry than that. By comparison, the far more important question at hand is, just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes, we need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost. But I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear. And sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of do have a theory as to why he never hasn't aged a day since then. I mean, it could be because of the sovereign power. Simple as that. I'm gonna go swimming for a bit. Okay. Nope. Where's the owl? There's supposed to be an owl somewhere. Oh, there's one wrong.
Hmm. First, I want. I kind of want to go backwards and when they joined our team. So first was Dohalim. Now Kisara. Actually, no, it would be Kisara then Dohalim. Whatever. What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So, feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenegas anyway? I came down in a Renan starship. I have Naori to thank for that. Oh. What happened to her? Did she come with you? She stayed behind. Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Naori's place was with her fellow Renans, performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait, so you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenegas abducted? You're saying they forced Naori? One of their own? To serve against her will as well? Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite mm. that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. <sighs> she stayed behind on Lenegas to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? 300 years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty, you don't. You can't atone for what's happened in the past. I don't think anyone can. Be it several centuries ago, or just yesterday. What are you saying? That I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <laughs> Back after yeah. my brother had passed away, it was you who told me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting, to strive no matter what. And I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No! You're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't even be here had I not heard them. Left to my own devices, who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up. Besides, it's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will, right? The True. truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Not only that, but that guilt you feel inside? That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Alfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but if you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on. Ask yourself. What I've been fighting for, huh? Alfin, are we gonna go rescue Shion or what? <sighs> What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself for what happened. And yeah, I don't agree, but that doesn't mean I don't understand either. But here's the thing. None of that's got anything to do with Xion. I guess. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere, too? Hmm. 
fine. I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... My power consumed me once already. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me? That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. Oh. No, I'm serious. What's gotten into Just you, man? Come right out Just of give date. me a word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now, I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? What's it gonna be, Alfin? <laughs> what do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen, you're probably right about all this. Alfin. It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. But there's still so much that I... There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a while, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. That was nice. Now let's see what Rudenwell has to say. All this time I thought it was the worrying about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely too. I guess all of us are. In one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well, you can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realized what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What about your hometown? Do you know if it's still there? I doubt it. When the Renans invaded, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah. I know how that feels. <clears throat> I have no home to yeah. return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been born a mage in the first place. Otherwise, if I hadn't, maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave with no means to resist. I'd never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? Nah, uh I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. After all... Who can predict what the future will hold? I guess what I'm trying to say is that with everything that's happened in your past, finding out you're the sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly, I think anyone would be. Rinwell. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering, just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah. All this time, you were suffering right in front of me, and I never even knew. I feel like I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still, if you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Yeah. Or Xion must be lonely, all by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going. Now what? Back to the inn, I guess. You mean this hole in the wall? 
that's kind of what it is a hole in the wall <sighs> Alpin! there you are what is it zoogles that's what they're almost at the village gates any closer and they'll be house hunting I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory that sounds bad and let's Can you fight? take care of him. No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> <laughs> I'm up for it. Really? Let's do it. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? Alvin, right. Great to have you back. Now let's do this. We're gonna take care of the- yep, everybody's back. And... I'm gonna fight an extraordinator. Look sharp, people. If we don't act fast, they're going to get into the village. Right. We need to hurry. Hi. Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! Oh, the battle music change. I actually intended to get it. Oh, come on, we don't have a healer right now. Why did I do this? Ow! Come on! Can we switch? Okay, there we go. Quick switch. I couldn't make it in time. That was my bad. Let's do this. You okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. Yeah. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village, especially after everything they've done for us. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, they let us stay. You know, this saloon kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? It is. Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something too. My rage. This fury I feel at our so-called rulers. 
It comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends, family, home. They took everything from me and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bonds with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xi'an comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xi'an. Then we defeat Voron and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's mm -hmm. agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Why are we... We're just paying out for dramatic effect. We don't know what lies ahead. Yeah. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Yeah. Can't exactly fight at the top of your game when you're hungry. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. I guess we'll... I could do that off camera. By the way, how is Mahavar doing? Uh... <sighs> Wait, don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast, but... All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. You mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up yeah. on the same shore. If the ship went down, isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you yeah. think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, we've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Mm -hmm. Fine, let's get going. This one was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even the weird Danons just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was. They needed food, badly. We hunted some zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. Mm hmm How many skits are there gonna be? <sighs> Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not. Xion's our friend. Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renin. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right, that she'd gotten what she deserved. 
but another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. <sighs> it's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. Well, I was touching and the skits are finally done. There's also a quest right in front of us. But we'll do that in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed this one, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that bell. And thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video.